Hello and welcome back to the channel. In today's video by popular request, we are discussing 90s minimalism fashion. And I have found 12 key staples that will help you achieve this look. Let's begin. A brief overview of the 90s minimalism aesthetic. It basically encompassed a lot of clean line simplicity and basic tailored pieces. Pretty much everything that the 80s was not. It focused on clean lines, monochromatic looks, lots of neutrals, and just an overall simplicity, maybe even with a little hint of androgyny. From 1990 to 1999, I was 14 to 24. So my style evolved quite a bit through those years as they were my high school and college years for the most part. In 1990, I was 14 years old and I was completely obsessed with supermodels. My all-time favorite was Christy Turlington, but I also loved Linda Evangelista and Cindy Crawford. Oh, how I wanted to be them so badly. Not only did I obsess over them on the runways, but I always looked through magazines to find their off-duty street style looks as well. Also in 1990, Beverly Hills 90210 TV show started, and I was also obsessed with Brenda Walsh's outfits. I loved her Midwestern style and how she tried to fit in with the in crowd in Beverly Hills. Then in the late winter of 1992, in my junior year of high school, I met who will eventually become my husband of 24 years. Now, his style was just oh my goodness he was the coolest thing he had a little bit of a punk essence to him but he also thrifted his clothes and always went for really high quality brand names and just really had an amazing sense of style and he still does to this day but in any case i kind of adapted to his style a little bit and he wore a lot of combat boots i started getting combat boots i got them in almost every single color of the rainbow and also the seattle music scene really started hitting the mainstream around that time and i really started embracing that whole grunge aesthetic too. So of course the combat boots, ripped jeans, really kind of distressed aesthetic. I remember raiding my dad's closet and getting some of his old plaid hunting shirts and getting some of his old vintage jeans and just really embracing that kind of style. I graduated in 1993 and went to college and that style just kind of continued with me throughout college. It just kind of kept going in that same kind of grungy, almost punk aesthetic. I graduated college in 1997, and then from there, I think I really started evolving into a little bit more of a girl next door aesthetic, kind of like Rachel Green from Friends. I loved that TV show, and I really loved Jennifer Aniston, so I kind of emulated her style a little bit. And then in 1998, I also started emulating Carrie Bradshaw on Sex and the City quite a bit as well, because, because I loved her really maximal, over-the-top, really girly, girly style. Looking back at the 90s, I definitely say that some of the most iconic minimalist looks came from supermodels off duty, like Cindy Crawford's looks were always very iconic. Also, Kate Moss's looks had a little bit of an edgy vibe to them, and those were always really cool. The celebrity it couple was Gwyneth Paltrow and Brad Pitt for many years, and they were always captured with the paparazzi. At the time, I loved Gwyneth Paltrow and I loved her movies, but I can't say I was really a fan of her style over Overall. I did think it was quite simple and plain, but now in my later years, I can definitely look back at that with some definite appreciation. And of course, we can't forget our American royalty who left us too soon, Carolyn Bissett Kennedy and her husband, John Jr. I'd say she's probably the number one most iconic representative of the 90s minimalism aesthetic. Okay, without further ado, let's get into these 12 pieces that I think should encompass any 90s minimalism aesthetic capsule wardrobe. One of the key components of a 90s minimalism aesthetic is focusing on neutral muted colors. Those are the main colors that can really help your wardrobe feel streamlined, monochromatic, tonal, and very understated and just minimal. As far as items are concerned, of course, a basic t-shirt, you can't go wrong with this, white, black, any of the neutral shades, they are a key component for building outfits for a 90s aesthetic. A next key component for the 90s aesthetic is to get a white tank top. Surprisingly, I actually don't own a white tank top in my wardrobe. This is the next best thing. It's a sleeveless mock neck kind of cropped top. Note to self that I need to get myself a white tank top. But of course, any color within the palette that you're using can work.
Menswear and a hint of some androgyny was also a key component of 90s minimalism. So I've thrown a vest here into the mix. Whether you wear this alone or with a t-shirt underneath it or a tank top is a little bit of a layer. Wearing this underneath a blazer, these are all ways to carry out the 90s aesthetic. Vests continue to be a strong trend. I picked this up last year and have been loving it since. Looking back at a lot of photos to research this aesthetic, I saw Gwyneth Paltrow wearing leather pants. So I thought it would be very fitting to throw some leather pants into the mix. These are faux leather pants, a little bit of a crop style, but ones that I absolutely love and I think they're very versatile pieces to wear most of the year. Button downs are also very popular to throw into your capsule for 90s minimalism aesthetic, whether it's a white cotton poplin shirt. You can also go for a flowy silk shirt like this. I kind of opted for this just to give it a little bit more of an elevated feel, but a white button down would do just fine. We also saw some great tailoring in the 1990s. High-waisted, relaxed, but tailored trousers were a very popular thing. I went with these black timeless trousers and they're definitely going to fit this aesthetic. Straight leg jeans and mom jeans were also very popular for the 90s aesthetic. I threw in here a pair of my favorite straight leg jeans. These have a little bit of distressing in them. These have a little bit more of an edgier vibe than just kind of your basic 90s minimalism. But the beautiful thing about this aesthetic is make it your own. Whether you want to add a little edge to it or just keep it very clean and minimal, totally up to you. Mini skirts are also very popular, especially with the supermodels off duty. If you want to think about that clueless look, that was a lot of pleated little mini skirts. Wasn't really into that vibe, but I do love myself a mini skirt. Of course, you cannot have a 90s minimalism without having a satin maxi slip dress. This one is absolutely gorgeous, and I recently picked it up to purposely style it for this video, but I'm definitely going to be hanging on to it because it's just the classic piece that was missing from my wardrobe and definitely need it. If you think back to a lot of looks from Gwyneth Paltrow, she loved herself a slip dress. Carolyn Bassett Kennedy got married in pretty much a slip dress, and it was an iconic, very controversial controversial move at the time, but looking back at it now, it was just really, really stunning option. Also popular in the 1990s were a lot of strapless numbers and a lot of column style dresses. I did not have a maxi style of this one, but this is just a cute little mini, little LBD. Getting into outerwear, blazer was a key component, especially for a supermodel off-duty rocking a blazer, t-shirt, and jeans. That's one of my most favorite iconic looks, and I never seem to feel that I can pull it off nearly as well as Cindy Crawford, but I still try to copy it. This one here is a little too oversized. I would say the 90s aesthetic was a little more tailored. Items were relaxed, but not like swimming off of you oversized. They, were, they did have clean lines and some shape to them. So I'd say this one is probably a little too big to fit their true 90s aesthetic, but 
I'm working with what I have in my closet. The blazer I'm wearing is definitely a little more fitted for this aesthetic. Gwyneth Paltrow also wore her leather blazer to death, and I don't own a leather blazer, but I thought I'd throw this leather moto jacket into the mix, as that was quite popular back then as well. And this is a great piece to throw on with something soft and silky like a satin dress, or throw it on with your trousers, your jeans. I think a leather jacket, leather blazer really help kind of give you that 90s vibe. Let me know if you think I captured the 90s aesthetic to a T or if I was a little off. I'd love to hear from you in the comments what you thought of this video. Of course, if you enjoyed it, please make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Let YouTube know that you enjoyed it. And if you're new here, please consider subscribing. I do styling videos like this all the time and I really think that you'll enjoy it here. Thank you again for watching and spending a little of your day with me. I appreciate it so much. I'll see you very soon and have a wonderful week. Bye.